what I'll tell you right now is this order. <laughs> I got so northed. I got mustard north. And that's never happened to me before. Wow. Oh, I got so northed. Oh my god. <laughs> my hat got northed? Well, we're not fixing that right now. I can't believe I got that north. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Okay, y'all. One greasy satchel to rule them all. The most visually unappealing food, but palatially speaking, in the mouth, the best a man can get. Or anybody for that matter. All right, y'all, we're gonna rip a sack down the center and see what comes pouring out. And that is the treasure's bounty and the pirate's booty, the most delicious, delectable of all. It's a pile of coney. <laughs> now they get packaged up pretty aggressively. As you can see, they get smushed and steamed in these wax papers. So like I said, it's a very ugly adventure uh, unraveling a coney to go bag. You're, uh, you're really dealing with uh, what some might call just really a mess, <laughs> but a delicious mess nonetheless. And as I unravel this beautiful mystery here, I will say, and I'm sure I've mentioned it in the past, but there is a certain magic that is created from the to-go style coney, and that is the, uh, the further steaming of the items. It uh, embeds and blankets in an extra ooey gooey sogginess that uh, I can only say that one desires. You see? An example is right here. See this bread? How it's now adhered to the bag and it's got that glutens activated that's what you're looking for okay here's something we haven't done in a while before we do anything more we must pour and today we're coming in with chocolate milk now i've been craving chocolate milk for some days now and i decided to pull the trigger a very rare crave for me but reminiscent of going here as a child uh milkshakes they sell milkshakes And they were banging. However, with inflation, they're now $7 for a milkshake instead of uh, when I was younger, I think it was something like $2.25. And everything here has gone up also exponentially as well. So I like to do mine with extra mustard. We'll give you a little interior look on this is a hamburger no cheese what i'll tell you right now is this order <laughs> i got so north i got mustard north and that's never happened to me before wow all right this video or this order i should say is entirely wrong she got my order completely incorrect there was a bit of a story behind that We'll talk about it. It was a, uh, a little bit of a fiasco in there. Because some old paranoid lady threw everything off. But let's have a bite of this hamburger first. I never have ordered a just plain hamburger from here. Well, not plain, it has a pony sauce on it, but never been in my repertoire. This is cheeseburger. Uh, these are supposed to have no onions. Just so soft and steamy. Reason for that is there's shit on my hat. I think it's more Peter North. Oh, I got so North. Oh my god. 
Am I hag on earth? Well, we're not fixing that right now. I'm chilling in there, and there's an old lady ordering in front of me. Um, she's got an N95 mask on. So she's still taking all of this very seriously, right? One of the few remaining paranoid people. So she's clearly paranoid of what we all know at this point, what she might be paranoid about still. And uh, she orders two hamburgers. And then after they're made and she hands them to her and she's the lady's doing the payment, she starts to interrogate the lady who made her burgers and is like, you, you wash your hands, right? And the lady who was servicing the counter, doing the Lord's work, in my opinion, making some of the most dirty, delicious dogs out there, uh, she was, like, thrown off and was, like, feeling attacked in a sense. Like, I could tell. And I gave her a weird look. I was like, fuck this lady. And then she was like, yeah, yeah, I washed my hands, gave her change, headed over to... The sink, the basin, the hand washing. Aha. A look into the life of a coney dog. Yeah, and then so she like proceeded to start kind of just washing her hands in front of her. And uh, this lady was... I wouldn't leave. She was kind of pressing the issue about being sanitary or something. And I was like, I said right to the lady, I'm like, you wouldn't eat, you wouldn't have eaten here 20 years ago. I'm like, you should have seen how, uh, how these used to get made. Cause the old man there, the, the Greek old man. used to run five, six dogs at a time up his forearm <clears throat> right to the elbow and scoop the sauce onto them all the while being like scalded. He had war scars from serving up coney dogs because the sauce is still hot on the stove. And he wore that like a badge of honor. And that was always the joke. Was the secret to why this food was so delicious is because, you know, you got a little bit of Gus with your food. A little bit of his essence, right? His armly essence. Eventually, health and safety did come in and tell him he needed to chill the, needed to chill the fuck out on that. So in his elder age, he did relax a bit. He only went like three dogs, a couple on the hand and one on the wrist. But uh, the hot dogs are so much better than the burgers, I'm realizing. But, um, you know, he established that place in, like, the 30s, probably. Maybe the 40s. Wartime era. Things just weren't the same back then uh, in terms of regulations.
Anyways, this lady threw her off. And she is embedded in the culture of this lady. She's like of the family. So under her breath, I could see her, you know, fuck you type shit. And I was right there with her. I had her back. But during that, I think out of her nervousness from this lady, she started remaking the same order for that lady, two hamburgers. And by the time she got done making them and wrapped them, she's like, is that everything for you? I'm like, I haven't even told you what I wanted yet. She's like, oh, I thought this was, I was like, no, I think you're flustered and you just remade her order. Like, I haven't told you yet what I want. And I was like, are those cheeseburgers? And she's like, I can make, make it a cheeseburger. So she made one a cheeseburger, evidently. The other one, a hamburger. The other one, a hamburger. And then proceeded to make me two, do two dogs with onions, which when I made my order to her, like when I did specify what I want, I said three dogs, no onion, one cheeseburger. But then I got home to find out that I had a hamburger, a cheeseburger, and two hot dogs, all with onions. <laughs> Which is fine. I don't mind onions. I just prefer without, but like I said, she got flustered. And she threw in... Um, the burgers for free because she was like you have my back with that old lady germaphobe so you know she hooked it up i got a couple freebies for holding it down for my local coney people Coney providers. So, all in all, it's all good. Cheeseburger is definitely better than just the hamburger. But the hot dog is... Without a doubt. Star of the show. Always has been. Some people go and prefer the burgers though. <sighs> Ice cold chocolate milk, who knew? Which I've never understood. I've just never, ever, I never understood it because here's why. You're already dealing with a sauce comprised of beef, of ground beef. So you're just stacking like beef on top of beef. And it just doesn't have the same reaction as how the sauce plays off of the flavor of a pork, likely pork or pork beef hot dog. Like, I don't know. It just doesn't do the same thing. They don't create that harmonious flavor instrumentation orchestra jazz band anyways had a good chat with the uh the son who's the owner now and he holds it down he was bringing in i saw him unloading ingredients into the back door and i was like i was like what are the ingredients you know what i mean i want to know what he's using right i told him that too i was like almost uh did a stakeout on you back there
to see where you source your ingredients. He's like, you should have helped me carry them, <laughs> carry them in. Likely a pork dog. But sometimes I think it's a beef pork blend. Uncertain. Yeah, and then we just chop it up, him and I, about uh, my buddy coming in there with his kid now. Because me and him used to get baked, and religiously, every Sunday, we would get hot dogs. And like I get a uh, just catch up dessert dog sometimes. He gets what's called a stoplight, which is a mustard and ketchup. So Buddy was saying, he's like, he brought his son in who's like a couple years old now. And it got him a few stoplights. He passed on the, the stoplight tradition to his son, so. Passing on the Coney Delight down the lineage. All right, the last glorious bite. This is also reminding me why if I usually get three items, I usually just get three dogs or two dogs and a burg. Cause my stomach is I'm getting there right now. That's another thing. They're better too when they sit and co and congeal and coagulate and come down to like room temp. Like right now, this bite is hitting the perfect temperature where you can taste everything. When you get them on location, the sauce is too hot out of the pot so it's such a different eating experience that's why the to-go sack is crucial all right so delicious haven't hit that in i don't even know how long for someone who has loved this place for so long and now having moved back here i don't go as often as i used to almost hardly ever so this was a, definitely a special treat today. Okay, till the next one. You know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.